Hi, this is Stummy from Creator on Orbita Rock. And on the 2nd of May, we will be playing in Bogota, Colombia. And I want all of you to come over, be there. <laughs> and it's going to be yeah. fun. Hola gente de Orbita Rock, mi nombre es Tatiana Duarte y hoy tengo un invitado muy especial, Sammy Ilicernio, guitarrista de la banda más importante de trash metal alemana, Creator. Vamos a estar hablando un poco acerca de su influencia y también sobre su más reciente disco, decimosexto, en estos 40 años de trayectoria de la banda. Por supuesto también sobre la visita que tendrán en Colombia el próximo 2 de mayo. We are very excited because Creator is going to be in Colombia on May the 2nd. And we are very, very much looking forward to come there also. And, and uh, together with Testament, it's going to be something that uh, we waited for to happen for last too long. And now that it's finally happening, we are very excited. Well, to start this interview, we would like to know some things about the most recent creator album. You released it last year in June 2022. Can you tell yeah. me uh, about it? Well, it's it's a it's a bit of a lineup change. I mean, that says you know, actually we have a new bass player called French. He had a lot to do also with the with creative input, and uh, he tried out to be a wonderful guitarist. There, so I uh, had some uh, really good ideas, and he also got the different producer called Arthur Bisp, uh, which was a list, but a good one. And then uh, it's just so very, we have to do the album uh, if it looks uh, either kind of a direct spontaneous in your face kind of an approach to it that we deliberately tried to do from the beginning and it turned out to be very good and now that we're like two together we can have better here in europe we have been playing like three or four of the songs already in the love set and they the kind of songs that i think we stick there you know it's just like it goes best yet to go for us super I'm very happy with it So, the song that gets the name of the album, this is a dense and explosive song, yeah? And and you have been playing it in the creator's concerts recently. Why did you choose that name and put it to the to the album? Well, I think the village is playing it that by themselves, and hate is the virus of this world. Just, you know, of course, you know, like, hate is a very natural phenomena and feeling that we uh, might be going through but from from time to time and for, for something maybe something people should accept and also control <laughs> yeah and uh, but it, it, it's 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 it has a you know even a you're like in enjoyment in in uh the action that we heard hey the first so a bit in the key but uh in front of me but it's not you know, it, it's a it's a it's a which uh bad repeat exactly <laughs> wait is the virus at this year similar to the previous to the previous albums uh you have some lyrics about insurrection about fight against power protests, difficult things, political situations. But this album has something special because you made it in the middle of the pandemic. So do you think that when we were in the pandemic, uh, the recording process was influenced uh, in the in the creation of these new lyrics? Um, it's, it's Miller who writes all the lyrics, but uh, the answer to that would probably be yes. But most of them were written al already before okay. so so yeah i mean of course to the to the entire album to the music of it and yes it it did have an effect 
tools. I mean, whether it's building and doing those demos, you know, for example, we weren't even allowed to travel to Germany, British from France, around from Finland, and uh, we had to, you know, find the time frames, like the weeks that we could go there, and then we, we, we would spend two weeks over there when everything was closed and there was really nothing to do, which, which maybe had a kind of a good impact on the music in other ways, because, you know, we're, I mean, we always, when we go to the studio, of course, yeah. we concentrate on the music, but then, you know, it, it, uh, it really happened to be so. And for sure the the atmosphere of it, um, uh, like, yeah, like uh, has and can be felt and can be heard. We we, we did a lot of demos, and, and and it ended up that we had more time also to file up the songs and and you know like think about the arrangements again and again and recording them again as demos for ourselves. Yeah. And then at some at some point we even noticed that maybe they're getting too complicated. And then when we went to the studio with Arthur Risk, we actually like it turned out to, turned out to make it more simple again. Like more more direct in your face, <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah, you had a it's good, time. It's good. Yeah, it was it was good to have the time to uh, you know explore all the alternatives, like how what can be done arrangement wise and so on. And we spend a lot of time in the rehearsal room as a band. I think it always makes a makes a difference. Yeah. You know? Sammy, you have been working with Creator for a little, I think, twenty years. And after you join the band, we feel that like the rhythm, like the lyrics or the mel melodic sound change it a little. Yeah. So because uh, when you started, yes. How was that uh, working with Mile, with Jurgen, be part of this biggest trash band in the world? Uh <clears throat> Well, I, I think it's, of course, you know, being that creator is a quartet or people. So if, if like one fourth changes, of, of course it affects the sound, like at least one fourth of it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the very first time that I was working in the studio you know, with the guys was back, it's already a long time ago, back in 2001 for, for the album Violent Revolution. Um, I, I went to the studio, you know, and, and it was a, like, I guess as a new band member back then. And, uh, yes. And, uh, I, I saw it just as a, as a huge opportunity. It's like, I remember Mila calling me back then and, and hearing about it, that there would be this possibility of making a new album together with, with this producer called Andy Sneap, who produced it back then. And I just thought, hell yes, like, uh, yeah, I got to do this. And yeah. this, this is like something else. And I, I really, I was a little bit familiar with Andy Sneap's work f from, from the before already, like, uh, that one arch enemy album that he did yeah. back in the day with them, the way wages of sin it was called, it's like, I heard the guitars and I was like, like in awe, <laughs> like, wow, <laughs> it was really something something special and the sound and everything. So it was a really, really like a mind blowing experience, I would say. Well, you are going to be uh, visiting us in Latin America. You have many concerts in Peru, Ecuador, Chile, Uruguay, Argentina. Well, obviously in Colombia. So my question is, do you feel any difference between your fans in Europe? and your fans in Latin America? Well, in the end, in the world, I mean, people are, are the same, you know, but also there's small differences. And whenever coming to Latin America, I just love the energy that, that you know, you can feel and what the audience gives you. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, I, I remember those in Colombia. They, they've all, they have been always been treated very well by the, by the, by the uh, friends and the people who, who like our music. Uh, it's been way too long since we've been there. Yeah, many really, years. Really, yeah, really, really looking forward to it. We'll be touring 
like doing a South America tour, most of those shows are together with Testament, and I think it fits very well. Similar kind of music, similar, similar age of music, yeah. also. <laughs> and and uh, and there's there's like in other countries, others in Colombia, there's some some festivals happening too. Yeah, and you know, it's it's just finally to be able to come there is uh, really great. Yeah, for us it's it's very very nice because we will we want to see you <laughs> so much. And we are so happy for that. 